Hey everyone, today we'll be installing this Dynan strut bar with this gear on this 1999 BMW Z3 Coupe. First thing let's do, pop the hood. Now if you come over here with me, I'm going to show you your strut tower. That's what it is, that's where we're putting this bar. First thing you want to do is remove the three bolts from the top of your strut tower. That was easy. Now let's go over and grab our gear. We're going to put new hardware on the bolts. So let's open that. And if you look on the table, the round piece of metal that's black, that's what we're installing. Slap that on top of those studs and put on your new bolts here. So really important thing is to read uh, what your manufacturer recommends for the torque on your tower. My tower is recommended to 18 pounds of pressure. So get your wrench and tighten that down and make sure you get a torque to whatever you recommend. And one thing to watch out for here is if you have any lines running near the tower, make sure you don't pinch them. So you can see I have a black line there. I made sure that it didn't get pinched when I installed this. Cool. So pretty basic. Go to the other side, repeat the process, remove the bolts, install the tower brace, and now you can see that we have both tower braces installed on the tower, and that's what we just put on. That's what it looks like. And here's your hardware. Open that next, and we're going to be installing this bar next. So what you need to do is find the hardware with an eyelet and put a nut all the way at the top take that eyelet with a screw in it basically screw it in to the ends of the strut bar like so and once we get that put on we're going to go back to the car there you go so what you do is take a uh, allen head put a washer on stick it through the tower holes through your strut bar and tighten the back end so basically we're going to mock this up now so go to the other side make sure you put that nut on the eyelet screw i don't know what the technical name is that's what i'm going to call it screw that into your bar as you can see the other side is already attached so this is going to help me be able to determine basically like how much space i need so i'm going to screw this in and then test fit it as i go to see, yeah, so basically I just go up and down until I can tell that it is tight enough. And that's the tightest setting. So there's tension there. And so that's what I'm looking for. Cool, moving on. So now what we wanna do, now that the bar's in place and it's got good tension, now we're just going to secure um, the nuts on both ends of the bar to the braces that we installed earlier and this is, requires an allen head size 10 and i can't remember what the other side was but it's probably a 10 too so go back and forth install those and then the final part here is that nut that we installed on the eyelet screw you need to hold the brace in place and then tighten that down on both sides and that's going to keep the brace from like wiggling or going back and forth so that's basically the final step here so now you can see I'm giving a little shake. So we got the bar installed and let's see how good we did. Yeah, it's, it's tight. It shakes the whole car. We're good. See ya. Thanks for watching. Subscribe.